Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm doing an experiment today. I was watching my grandkids on Monday. And before I went to their house, I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up some crafts for us to do. And I decided to go try some of their new brand clay. So this is called Crafter's Collection. It's from Hobby Lobby. There are two different ones to get. One will say craft right here. And this one says advance. Apparently advance is supposed to be more like Sculpey Primo, which is why I only picked this up. So first impression of the clay is that it's weird. I don't know how else to put it. Um, let's see if I can explain that. It's very sticky. That's number one. It's very stiff. That's number two. But the colors aren't like a true opaque. And I, I can't explain what I mean by that. But it looks more like um, a translucent with coloring in it. I don't know why. It just doesn't look like a true opaque. And it also looks more like plastic. Um, I know it's plastic. I know both of the clays are plastic, even Primo. It's got plasticizer in it and stuff like that. But this just has that feeling of plastic over clay. And again, um, it's really stiff. So the clay is soft. Sticky. And stiff. I can't even give you a description of what I mean by that. You'll have to try it. Um, to understand probably what I'm saying. But it's just, it's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all I can say is it's just weird clay. So I'm gonna make like a I don't know, we're just gonna make a multifaceted leaf here, not a leaf, just a cane. It may go into a flower, it may not. Okay, the other thing I've noticed is it's not as easy to throw your brayer on it like that. I mean, it takes a lot of pressure to thin this out to get it in the pasta machine. So I played with a little bit of this already and that's how I'm making my observations, I guess. But it's kind of hard on the wrist. When you don't have good wrist, you'll notice that there's a pull on it. So we're going to just put this into a Skinner blend. And I'm going to turn the pasta machine to a number three, just because it seems to make it faster. As far as blending, it doesn't seem like it blends as easy from what I'm seeing. I ran it through probably 10 times now. So I'm going to go three more. Or we'll go five more. We'll make it 15. And two more. It does not want to blend into each other. So we got kind of a blend, but a lot of this didn't come out. It's just very slow going. I don't know if I want to continue or just leave it alone at this point. But there should be more of that lavender coming through to the white, and I'm not really seeing it. So we're just going to leave it alone. So you can tell right here it just yeah it just did not want to blend in and it just kind of dragged it all 
And I don't know if I said this before, but the white reminds me of Cernet Translucent. It just has that color and that consistency. And folding it, it's very stiff, which might actually work to my benefit for a cane. Now let's see how hard it is to take it apart. Just in case I want to put that. Okay, so. Okay, so it doesn't really break apart that easy. Okay, so now we're just going to fold this up. I only bought one pound of each, or whatever this is. It's 1.7 ounces, sorry, not pound. It's not quite as big as the uh, Primo Sculpey. I don't know how much that is. I don't know if it's two ounces actually, or, yeah, so Sculpey is actually two ounces. So we're missing about three ounces here. That could make a big difference when you're working on a project. Okay, so now we're going to take some of this turquoise blue and we're going to wrap it at a number three. I'm just trying to come up with something really quick just to get a general idea of how I like this. Okay, so I'm a little short. So let's see how easy it is to stretch it. Not too bad. It still feels like plastic. So, I'll do one more. I wish I had one more white. I could make another Skinner blend, but I don't. That was my mistake. I should have bought a couple more, but I just wanted to try it. Let's see if I was going to even like it. I have to go to a four on this one. So as far as it on the hand, it makes your hands feel pretty sticky. Like it's transferring onto your hand. trying to think of what kind of a flower I wanted to make. So I just want to leave it like that or if I want to make two of them. That looks like that's going to be a boring flower. A little air bubble right there. I don't want to put, 
Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna go all out and play with this. I just feel like there's something that's got to be in between there. I have nothing else. I've used all the white. I don't want to get into my Sculpey Primo. Uh, let's take dark blue and green. What the heck? a little thin strip of this. The great thing about this is it's in, it's in like a thin block instead of a real thick one. So to me that kind of helps with um, I don't know with wanting to put it through your pasta machine you just have to squish it down a little bit. That's a benefit. And I'm just running this at a number two. And then I'm going to run it at a three. And it looks like I got a little bit of white on there. So we're just going to cut this in half. Hopefully we'll get it centered all the way down. We didn't, which is why I did that. Because I knew that was going to happen. Okay, that's where I wanted it. too short. I do want that to go all the way down. I'm get rid of this little piece of white. do that green right in the middle of the blue. Not very well thought out. Then again we're just playing to see how we like it. I left a bunch of this with my granddaughter too. I don't know if she's played with it or not. Yeah, boy, the green is is really funky. This is really interesting. It is just, I mean, it's really, like, sticky. I guess we're going to find out how we like it when... We start pulling on it.
the smell kind of weird not really bad not real strong as far as holding up um, that stiffness is kind of nice So now do I want that green and blue around the outside of it to give it a little bit of a look to it and what I mean by that is do I want to put little put little logs around it like that not really so we're going to just take this blue and wrap it around the other blue. And since there's a little bit of white in this, it might lighten up the blue a little bit, which really wouldn't be a bad thing. This is at a three. So let's fold that in half and put it back through. That's going to be way too thin, obviously, but... Oh, maybe not. Uh, it is on some of it. So... We are going to piece it together. Oh, look at that I just I just missed it I Mickey Mouse things a lot once it all gets squished into each other you're not even gonna know that I did that all right Not real impressed with my color choices here. They didn't have a whole lot of clay. So we're going to take a little bit of green on the bottom just to make sure I'm safe. So just a really thin piece like this. Doesn't have to be even. I just want to put that on the bottom. I like the blue and the green. Kind of reminds me of Seattle Seahawk team. And now we're going to reduce it and see what it's like to reduce. We're going to add some gold, and I think that'll help me get rid of the stickiness that I'm feeling. Try not to go on the green so that I can actually see it.
All right, that's good enough. Just gonna try and get it off my hands over here somewhere. All right, oh, much better. So it's gonna make it a lot easier to stretch this out. It would have been easier had I kept it round. But it's kind of too late for that. It's been a really off week. So my son's mother-in-law, which is a friend of mine now, um, she always watches the kids because she lives in a house on the property. And she had a doctor's appointment on Monday because she's been having a lot of pain in her back. She doesn't know how she twisted it or anything like that, but she has had nerds, uh, surgery on her neck before, and they've got pins in her neck, so she felt like something kind of like fell out. The hardware failed or something like that, so I was supposed to babysit Monday for her, and then Monday while I'm driving to their house, I find out that um, they ended up taking her into the emergency room the night before, um, kind of forced in there because she's very stubborn and hard-headed and um, she's still in the hospital but the pain wasn't called by caused by faulty hardware or anything she has cancer so that took us all by surprise um, she has cancer in the spine whether or not it metastasized from somewhere else I don't know they're still waiting on MRI results. They did a scan of her brain yesterday to see if it's gone in there. So it's kind of like a wait and see. But it's just kind of, it just kind of all took us by surprise. And it's going to be life changing for my kids because they relied on her so much. You know, I mean, she was a part of their daily lives. And now that they're facing this, my daughter-in-law is in her last semester of um, nursing school. My son actually had a test on Tuesday to get a promotion at work that he took. Um, he won't know for a week how he did, but if you can send out some good thoughts for Kay and also my son Kevin and his wife, Amanda. That would be wonderful. And I'll cut, keep you updated when I know more. Okay, so I'm going a lot on this because I might be able to turn that into a flower. Whether or not I'm going to, I don't know. I think it's gonna be an ugly flower, <laughs> but it might actually good look good when it's all put together, I don't know. Right now, my biggest thing was to test out the clay. Um, I will say, if you have wrists like mine, this is a little bit of a ouchy. Um, it's pretty stiff, which is great for cane because I have a feeling that the cane is not going to move much. And we really don't have a lot of waste on the ends, which is another good sign. Oof. Yeah, that's really boring, guys. <laughs> that is really boring. What are we going to do with this? Uh, let's cut six pieces up. I'm very stiff. Going through it, you would think after working with it that it gets really soft. It has not. So what does that give me? One, two, three, four. Uh, I didn't really want to use it all, but... I guess it really doesn't matter. But look at this. I mean, the shape stays together, which is a plus in my book. And look at that. I mean, you guys see me make flowers all the time, and you also see me struggle keeping them in line and stuff like this. And... Wow, this is really coming together. I mean, it's not the prettiest flower, but not too bad of one. And I didn't have any problems with um, with it distorting. 
So let me hit pause. I'm going to go ahead and get some clay out to make the center. Um, I have a little bit more turquoise. I don't have any white. Uh, I don't know if I want to use green in the center. I definitely don't want to use red. Ugh, I don't want to use fuchsia. Um, do I want to use the blue and the green? All right, we're going to make a bullseye cane, and we're just going to use what I have left over with the green and the blue, and then maybe I'll put some dark blue over that. So let me go ahead and hit pause, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back, and all I did make was a bullseye cane. I have the green in the middle, wrapped in turquoise, wrapped in the dark blue, indigo is what they call it, wrapped in a little bit more green and more indigo. obviously you want to make sure that you don't reduce it too much so we're just gonna see how big we need this so I have to say for caning this is really cool clay because it's stiffer Maybe that's why it's kind of like Kato in that regards. Um, that it holds its shape. But so far the only thing, well not the only thing. So far the one thing I don't like is the colors don't really mix very well. So that I don't like. So that cane in the middle is just a little big. So we're just going to make it a little smaller. This also bakes um, at a lower temp. I think it's 230 degrees. 230, 110 Celsius. Would it be okay at 275? I don't know. I hate when you have clay that has different bakings. Okay, so the only primo that I'm going to use on this is translucent to put around the sides. Um, I didn't see that they had any translucent. I'm wondering if I should just go a little, just a little smaller. What are we at? One and a half? Let me just go like a little, little bit. Not a whole lot. Condition some translucent real quick. So I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make by putting this in at 230. But I guess we're going to find out. So let me go ahead and put you on pause while I condition some translucent and I'll be back. Um, another thing I notice is this. I don't know if you can see all that blue on my hand but the clay transfers to your fingers, so that kind of sucks. But anyways, I'll be back. Okay, so we are back, and we're just putting... It doesn't stick to your work table, I've noticed. So that's kind of an interesting thought. So I can't kind of hold it down when I want it to stay down. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. But again, this clay is a little weird.
It's a little small. And try and get as much of that bad part off here. I just don't want to make this petal a whole lot smaller than the other ones. Even though the ends are going to be bad no matter what, so I'm not worried about that. Hmm. Am I going to get some of this in between both of these? Just got to get one on that side. I think the reason it's not sticking is maybe because I've got gold leaf on this. Not really sure. Hmm, this is going to be interesting. Now what we're going to do, as usual, is put translucent around the outside. So I'm going to go condition a little bit more and I'll be back one more time. Alrighty, so I have my translucent now. And this is at a zero. Unless you're take, just in case you're taking notes. And we're just going to cut it right down there using the right side of the blade. some of this excess off. So I don't know if a flower was smart to use considering it's two different clays. But maybe we'll ask around and find out if anybody else has mixed them. See how their results came out. All right, so that is it. So now I'm going to disappear again for the last time, and we are going to reduce this. And we'll see how easy it is to reduce. It's very stiff, I can tell you that right now. And that's partly because of the translucent around it. And they're not going to be rounded petals. I can tell you that, but I'll see how it turns out. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. We do have a little bit of waste on the end. I'm wondering if this would make like a nice Natasha bead since it's so stiff. So we're going to cut this at two inches. I really needed another cane, all right? All right, so that's the end of them. Okay, so that was our leaf-turned flower. They're kind of cool. They're kind of bright. Make a nice little background cane. So there's that. And, well, you know, I didn't really notice much of a difference as I was reducing so I'm glad for that I do like this clay 
um, at $1.59 I think that's pretty good as well but as far as blending it didn't blend like I thought it would blend so it wasn't I don't know how to put it it just didn't it didn't blend the colors so we'll try and experiment a little more yes I'm gonna see if I can quickly make a Natasha bead because I'm horrible at Natasha beads but different clay maybe it'll make a difference right so let's try it and then before I go I'll show you a couple new cutters and one of you left a comment after I made that donut bracelet asking if I could make it in a red and a yellow and I did that so I'll show you those results actually I did two different ones I might have to go grab the other ones okay so we're just gonna twist this a little bit and then we're gonna squish it in So we'll go one more really quick. Even that's really cool. Can make like a really nice marble. You know, sometimes I always wonder if I should just leave them alone or attempt Natasha beads that I'm really horrible at. Because if I keep wrapping this, I'll get some really cool striations in it. But if the Natasha bead doesn't work out, I can turn around, put it all back together, and I don't know, make it a little background. My problem with Natasha beads aren't as much as Natasha bead as to how do I finish them. What do I put on the sides or do I just leave them alone? Okay, now the clay is getting a little soft. I don't know if it's because of the translucent. Oh, I'm not sure if I did this enough. Pink and blue together is just so, I don't know, babyish. So it's not something I use a lot. So whether or not I use this, I don't know. Right, let me just grab some of this. pretty thick so Next time I'll try and make a Natasha bead without translucent, just using their colors to see if it holds up a lot better. So the jury's still out on this clay. Might have to get a have an ellipse cutter. So maybe I'll make that in the shape. That's not the shape I'm going to keep it, just so you know. So it kept up with the design. Not sure if I like it. Okay, so let me show you the... Oh, let's see if I can show you the colors really quick. So I got a bunch of these in about five or six different... Um, about six different shapes. And so they're just different faces, and these are stamps for pumpkins. I have the pumpkins up. These are the ones that I just put up. I just need to 
make sure that I've got like sizes that are going to work with all these sizes if that made any sense and I don't have any clay in front of me oh yes I do all right so here's some blue yes it's not really pumpkin-y but it's gonna have to do for now so basically look at that got a beautiful pumpkin and let's see if I can get a smaller face. I keep pulling all the big ones out. This one might be a little too small. I don't know. Basically, you'll just use your stamp. And it might not be even. And just press it down a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely not even. But, alright, then you got your little face. And like I said, I've got five different faces. And then I made a scarecrow. Scarecrow on a stick. So if you guys know who Jeff Denham is, you'll get that reference. Okay, so now we have a little scarecrow. These are not up yet. But the cool thing about that is you can use the pumpkin head on top of them. That might be a little bit of a big head. But these are just some things that I'm working on that hopefully I'll have them up this weekend. Okay, and the last thing to show you is what somebody requested. Let me quickly go grab the other beads and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So our first experiment with the red, orange, and yellow was using Ranger Rick. And it's, yeah, it's just Ranger, I guess it's just Ranger alcohol ink. I use a Sunset Orange for the orange. I use a cranberry for the red, and I used a dandelion yellow for the yellow. Added some gold leaf. I didn't want to do a tutorial on it because I've already done one on our donuts, and I didn't want to bore you. So this is what we got. Okay, so that's the color we got. I don't know if it would look better on white because of my hands being so dirty. And <laughs> my surfaces aren't very clean, so it might not make a difference. Okay, so this is with the orange. Hopefully you'll get the colors on that side, because it looks like it's not really showing all the colors very good. But you can see the striations in it. Okay, so I also used um, Snowcap, which is a mixative alcohol ink. And I don't like it because it doesn't really coat the clay in a white. Um, it barely did it, so I need to buy me some white um, alcohol ink. And I know that they sell them, but they always sell them with black, and I don't use black at all. This is another one I did. And these, I added some green to it. These are a lot thinner than I wanted to go. There's no way I'm going to get a hole in there. So I'm just going to put seed beads through it. That's something I want to work on this week. But that's it. So this is the difference between the two. As you can see with the green, it just gives it a lot more rich colors. So again, I hope you can see that. But that's it for today. And, um, you know, I don't know when I'll be back. Hopefully this weekend. But we're going to have to see how K ends up. And, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, yes, keep her in her prayers, please. Keep my kids in your prayers. Um, as they go through this unfamiliar territory. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.